So I was able to get pallets cheap, five bucks a pallet. Sometimes you can get them for free. They're beat up, but they don't have to be perfect. I didn't do that much to level this spot, just a, a little bit of rough digging. Uh, and then I used some bricks to prop up the, the difference. And it's far from perfect. But uh, once I screw this all down, I think it's gonna tie together nice and uh, be a nice camp floor. I don't expect it to last forever either. So in the summer, I plan on pulling these boards up. I'm gonna screw them down now, but, uh, and cover them with a tarp. <clears throat> and then the tent's gonna be on it and the tent will have a floor as well. It should be fairly uh, unexposed. And then in the summertime, I'll unscrew them and lift all these boards up and leave the pallets on. That's the plan right now, we'll see how that goes. Okay, there we go, there's the finished product. Well, at least the floor's down. Get the tent up here soon. I'll have to report back next year, I guess, on how it went. <laughs> so far, I'd recommend it. Um, $100 in pallets, about $100 in half-inch OSB, and uh, maybe 120 That's pretty much it. A shovel. <laughs> yeah, and I used a common brick to level it out. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not too concerned about some settling and I'm not too concerned about it being super level but going from like a lumpy ground in the tent with no floor which is what we did last year we just put it up in the yard over there uh, and uh, actually remove snow to put it out put it down so I think this year is going to be a heck of a lot more comfortable I'm looking forward to trying it out Oh, so I, yeah, as I was building this, you know, I started off with this lumpy ground and just felt like familiar lumpy ground. And then I started laying the pallets out and I'm like, hey, this is, this is really, this is quite a bit better already. And then once the pallets were, were leveled and put the boards on top, now, now it's nice and solid. Uh, feels, that feels like a nice, reasonably level deck. <laughs> pretty happy with that uh, the pallets I had were four feet by 40 inches um, so 48 inches by 40 inches <clears throat> and in order to make the 14 feet instead of cutting a pallet I decided to space them out a little bit ensuring that the spaces were um, covered by the gap of the 4x8 OSB and then that, that worked out really well. Saved me from cutting pallets and being too exact with things. You can get carried away with the engineering, you know. That's it. Have a good one. Okay, well here's an update on the tent. Uh, the pallet floor situation. Um, put down those OSB boards. And then I put down this... Um, brown tarp and then set the tent up on top of that made a porch here <laughs> and this is pretty slick it's uh it's been really nice been working out well this floor so it's just this tarp and then we have some outdoor rugs that we picked up at Menards for like 30 bucks a piece and this has been a really nice solution a good enough floor it doesn't you know it's definitely not perfect I wouldn't want this in my house but um, wow for what I spend on this maybe 200 bucks total now I bet 300 bucks total with all the miscellaneous things but hey I've got a floor in my tent and it's not gonna get wet it's not sloppy last year we we had it out here in the yard and we just had a, a grass floor uh, put it up in the middle of winter <clears throat> formed a lot of ice in here and it was fine we had a lot of fun with it but this is going to be so much better i can't wait i've already been enjoying it so heck of a win so there you go pallets they certainly don't need to be perfect just get them level cover them reasonably with some wood and protect that wood somehow and i'm choosing to protect it with the tent primarily so in the springtime you know this is the fall now 
in the springtime, I'll be taking the tent off. I'll take off the tarp and pull up the OSB boards and then just set them off under a shed because they're not going to weather well for sure. The pallets I'll probably just leave down and replace. Maybe I'll pick them up, but they're kind of leveled right now. So I'll probably just leave that. Anyway, that's it. This is a 16 by 14 tent with five foot walls. I bought six foot wall fabric. I just felt like that was too much to heat. So we cut it down to five feet and I've just kind of shored up the extra tent fabric with magnets at the bottom. And that's, that's working out real well, surprisingly well. All right, take her easy. Okay, one last update. I ended up not taking it down at all over summer and uh, was really pleased with how it did. Um, <clears throat> obviously the wood has been protected the whole time. I didn't have to pull it back up. It's just the easiest thing to do. And I wanted to see how it would do with bugs and stuff over the summer. And because I tied the floor in, and I was able to seal up the, <clears throat> the rest of it. I really did not have a bug issue at all. It was, that was pretty great. I did have a, a mouse uh, build a nest twice um, in between the roof, the fabric roof, and the, the tarp <clears throat> roof. So you definitely don't want to like leave it all summer and not check on it at all but um and i had a skunk um for a little bit that was living under the floorboards or you know in a hole there but uh i just installed some solar lights and and that went away so really wasn't a problem at all uh, i'm really happy with this and having a lot of fun with it i'm <laughs> really glad i put this floor in and uh, took a chance on that shoddy construction because that was plenty um i'd highly recommend it don't over engineer just get her done and go have fun so that's it you know just uh get her done do the simplest cheapest thing you can and don't over engineer it when you don't need it